We are in the Frankie's Free Range Meat Kitchen. Both myself and my business partner, Adam, have been losing our minds over the past few weeks. Him in the kitchen, me more so in the kitchen as well as online. Thankfully, we have 90% of the orders fulfilled and we will be filling the remaining orders that have been placed in the last week or two this Monday and Tuesday. So everyone is going to have their order. But what happened with FedEx this week? Don't open a meat company in the summer. So that's a pro tip. <laughs> we, we literally packed about 130 boxes on Monday of this week and our FedEx pickup did not show up. So Sh we had to showed up. They said no packages. Well, yeah, 100, yeah. 130 packages filling up an entire room. The driver said no packages. Yeah. So basically from our perspective, they didn't show up, but what they told dispatch was they showed up and there were no packages. So we had quite a bit of money worth of product with quite a bit of money worth of dry ice. Uh, Adam had to put all the boxes in the freezer, order more dry ice the next day, open up every single box and repack it. Uh, so this is just one of those things when we're opening up a new business, you know, we don't really have a reputation built up with a lot of vendors, the shipping companies, all of that stuff. And, and it just makes everything more difficult every step along the way. But we're pretty much in the clear now. Uh, but some people might have had, you know, initial issues with their order. Mm -hmm. and, and we want to make sure that everyone is happy with the product they received. Uh, at this point in time, every single product we are sourcing, we are super happy with the quality. The first, what, like two or 300 orders didn't ship with dry ice, right? Exactly. Now we're using dry ice. Everything should be showing up rock hard. We were receiving fresh product and shipping it to you fresh, which is ideal, we think, but most people want to receive frozen products. So we've switched over to frozen. So it's a big change. All of the other meat companies ship their meat frozen, like rock solid with dry ice. Uh, so we're meeting those expectations right now. Uh, we didn't do those, as I said, for the first few hundred orders. So if you weren't happy with how your order showed up or the quality of the product, uh, please reach out to us, info at frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We've already refunded the majority of the orders for anyone that was unhappy. And by all means, guys, if you were unhappy with anything about the order, the quality of the liver, the quality of the fat, uh, how, how anything tasted, please just reach out to us via email. Let us know uh, what we can do uh, to remedy the situation and make sure these things don't happen in the future. Keep in mind, the product now is better quality. We're better at shipping it. Everything's coming in now that we have established ourselves. Um, so quality should be going up as we move forward. Now that we're shipping with dry ice and we fixed all the issues that we've had with previous orders, everything moving forward is going to be 100% as we intend the product to be. About two weeks ago, we sent out most of the pemmican, right? Most of it over there, like... During a heat wave. Yeah. Made out of towel. So... Tough. A lot of the pemmican that was sent out, unfortunately, melted in the bag. You know, Adam's been in the kitchen killing himself for how many, you know, hundreds of hours making, you know, about a thousand pounds of pemmican for you guys. We put it in bags. It was all good up to like 90, 95 degrees. But when we shipped it out, some of these trucks and trailers, they must have gone up to like 115, 120 degrees. The pemmican literally melted completely in the bags. And a lot of people ended up getting pemmican soup. Uh, so we refunded a lot of the pemmican orders. And as a future precaution, we are packing the pemmicans individually. Think of like Reese's cups, like those peanut butter candy treats. It's like chocolate truffles. Yeah, yeah. So every single pemmican is going to be uh, packed in a tray from now on and covered. So regardless of the temperature, even if it melts, uh, it will retain its shape. But I think that was just something that happened because of that week. Because we tested out the pemmican shipping before. We shipped to California. It's just that it was a bad month. And a, and a really bad week, mm -hmm. of course. So if you guys did get melted pemmican and you were unhappy with it, please reach out to us. As I said, we've refunded the majority of the pemmican orders already. And uh, moving forward, these errors will not happen again. As much as we've been playing catch up these past few months, now moving forward at this point in time, we're kind of up and running and we're going to start uh, doing the other things that we've said we're trying to do. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about fish, uh, raw dairy, uh, pasture-raised eggs, uh, like cod liver in glass jars, uh, maybe even some 
oil supplements. Uh, we're trying to make all of that stuff happen, uh, but right now it really depends on you know the order volume and the amount of support we get from you guys. So recently, uh, we've been able to add a Wagyu beef box, uh, which we'll show you guys today. Uh, we're now grading our steaks, uh, so you can pay a little bit extra for more marbled steaks. Uh, we've also added lamb fat, and in addition to that, lamb hearts. Uh, so if there is anything you know in the organ meat category that you guys have asked me about, we are trying to get that stuff on first and kind of keep to, to like land animal meat for the most part, you know, because fish, raw dairy, eggs, uh, it's not something we can really do in the short term uh, with how we're currently set up, but it's definitely going to happen sometime next year. We're already working on it. We're getting things in place. Those items take a little bit more operationally and logistically to get out rather than meat products. For every single one of these other products that you guys want us to get, you know, for the raw deer, we have to literally lease a farm have our own animals, do full raw dairy production. Same thing with the eggs. We have to lease our own farm, buy custom feed for the chickens. Uh, every single thing that we want to do is something that no one else is doing. And That's Frankie's spirit. Right? Yeah, when, when you're doing things that no one else is doing, everything along the way is difficult because when you go to a farmer or ask someone to do something for you, they've never done it before and they either don't want to do it because it doesn't fit into their regular protocol or it's not really worth their while for you know the size of our company right now. Uh, but things are moving really quick. And uh, I mean, I'm really excited about the food quality that we're sending people. Yeah, you have, you have to remember commodity items are cheap, but they're not special. And specialty items are expensive. We want to have really high quality at a great price. So that's what we're up against. None of you guys are going to find Wagyu beef online for the same price. And we're even going to be offering uh, the highly marbled steaks as well. 100% grass fed. Almost all Wagyu is grain finished, not in the best conditions, uh, but we're offering a grass fed product. And same with the, the steaks we have. You know, we have very highly marbled uh, ribeye steaks that we're about to show you guys. You see that message to Michaela from that Canadian farmer? Michaela was like, oh, I love Wagyu beef. Oh, it was something to do with Michaela Peterson. I didn't want to say something about that. Wagyu is awesome. Wagyu is, um, she's like, 8-5 Wagyu is so good. And her neighbor farmer was like, no, those animals are raised in disgusting conditions, just eating grain, terrible life, no nutrients. Well, we fortunately have Wagyu that is grass-fed. So you guys don't have to worry about uh, our Wagyu cows being malnourished or tortured. Yeah, say the least. just because it's Wagyu, it could be, I mean, it's just eating a ton of grain. It's not necessary. I mean, it creates a, a crazy fatty product, but nutritionally speaking, it doesn't mean anything. So what happened on Instagram? Uh, what was it on Twitter with Michaela Peterson or Instagram? Well, yeah, Twitter and then it, but on Instagram, she tweeted it. Slow down Farmstead, called her out. Michaela's like, oh, I love, I can't, I can't get A5 Wagyu off my mind, right? Slow down Farmstead goes, really? Because... <clears throat> that stuff is raised on dirt paddocks, eating sludge for its whole life. He's their neighbor. No nutrition. She has a neighbor who raises Wagyu, right? Slow down farmstead, grass-fed butter that looks like it's radioactive. It has so much beta carotene in it. Her neighbor raises Wagyu. The animals are eating sludge. She would never touch that stuff, right? Michaela's like, oh my God, I love this. this so, so this grass-fed farmer called out Michaela because... That grass-fed farmer knows how those wagyu were being raised. Exactly. Right next to it. She sees her neighbor mistreating these wagyu, traditional grain finishing. Um, that's a huge call-out to me. I mean, I can't believe. Yeah, no that. one seems to care though because it's not coming from her. So we actually ordered meat from Crowd Cow and what was it, U.S. Wellness? Oh my God! No. So tell them the Crowd Cow story, and we have that email to back that up. <laughs> Crowd Cow sent us three steaks. $145. We got $25 off for our first Frankie's Free Range order. Um, one of the steaks was smashed and they they gave us a discount on the steak, 25% uh, off, which is $11 for one pack. So the pack was really expensive and uh, they said that's uh, you get 25% rebate on your, on your smashed steak. So that was very nice of Crown Cow. We basically paid $150 for three pounds of meat uh, from, from Crowd Cow. And U.S. Wellness isn't, isn't much cheaper either. Uh, and, and they do have, so what do they have? They have pemmican, but their pemmican isn't legitimate pemmican. We were checking out their pemmican. It comes in a tube. It has 
too much fat, the ratio seems to be off. It yeah. seems to be like a grease ball. But theirs isn't dried out, so it's not. No. It's not. Uh, it doesn't stay at room temperature. They send it frozen. As much as I like to sit here and, and talk crap about other food companies, this is the reason we started Frankie's Free Range Beef. We saw what everyone else was doing. You know, the prices were unacceptable, the food quality was unacceptable, and, and we want to be different from everyone else. Uh, so let's show you guys why we're different. Uh, we'll take a look at the ribeye and the wagyu box. That's beautiful. So these are 100% grass fed. 100% grass fed. We're now grading these. We cut every steak by hand, and we're selecting the top 30%. We're setting those aside as extra marbled. Mm -hmm. So these are going to be sold separately, not in the ribeye box. But the marbling on the steaks in the ribeye box is still pretty good for grass-fed especially. So if you want to get these, we're going to probably sell a 1.25 pound steak uh, for somewhere around $20. So you're not going to get a steak better than that 100% grass-fed for this price anyway. That's enough steak to feed yourself for a day. Just one of them. The Wagyu isn't just about the marble. These steaks are also more tender, so I tried these out. The marbling is pretty good. The, the breed is very, you know, prone to have high marbling. So the marbling is good on these. You guys take a look. This is the, the Wagyu beef short rib that's in the Wagyu box. Uh, this stuff will just melt in your mouth. So what is it? It's a combination of the level of marbling as well as the breed of the cow that makes it more tender. It's the texture and flavor as well. Th these are definitely fatty, considering they're 100% grass-fed. This is some uh, waggy chuck, chuck roll. roll. Very high level of marbling. And we cut the steaks thick. These are, this is a, almost a pound and a half steak. So keep in mind, if you guys are interested in buying the, the Wagyu, you're not just getting, you know, a higher fat content. It's a different flavor. It's more tender. Overall, much higher quality meat. And this is just the off-cut box. We will be offering the stuff that's more typical of Wagyu, right? Like the A6 stuff? We're going to get in some higher grades. The Wagyu grades can go up to nine um, for marbling score. We're going to get in some six, seven, eight, nines and offer that separately. In addition to the really well marbled ribeye steaks as well as the Wagyu, uh, we have also added lamb fat and lamb heart. Lamb fat is by far the most consistently high quality fat. It always tastes good as lamb are on pasture 100% of their lives. So guys, definitely check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. If you have any questions, any ideas about future products, and as I've said in the past, we have some product ideas that will blow your mind, guys, uh, especially in the non-perishable department. Uh, so, you know, with your continued support, uh, we are going to try to keep coming out with uh, more products. We're doing the pate soon, right? Pate's coming at you. Nutritionally optimized pate that tastes delicious. That's coming out next week. We're going to make a pate, and if you eat about a quarter pound of this pate, you will get all of your nutrients for the day. Omega-3 from brain, vitamin A from liver. It's gonna be really great, guys. Definitely more to come. Are we gonna do the chicken liver pate too? Chicken liver, beef liver, maybe pork liver. Yeah, so we'll do a bunch of different pates. We'll see what you guys like. But thank you guys for joining me today. As I said, Frankie's FreeRangeMeat.com. We have discount codes, 5% on $200, 10% on $300, and 15% on $500. Not only are our prices cheaper than everyone else before the discount, we have a discount that no one else offers. Usually they'll do like, what, flash sales, like 10% off everything. But we have that all the time. Uh, so we, to kill me, basically. So basically, che cheapest product and then also discounts on both. Basically, we haven't made any money. <laughs> Frankie's still driving a 2001 shitbox of a car, but that's all right. Uh, I'm in it for the long haul. Uh, so thanks again for joining us, guys, and enjoy the rest of your week.